Hi, I'm Lindsay Nataki, pediatric speech language pathologist, and I'm here today to help you work on speech and language at home. Today, I'm going to talk about what to do when your child is hitting. First and foremost, I want to say that you are not a bad parent if your child is hitting. This is a natural type of behavior that all of our kiddos have. And if you feel the pressure to punish your kid because he's hitting and you don't feel like that's right, then don't do it. A lot of times in our societies, in our social groups, there will be a lot of different opinions that come at you. And sometimes people might say, oh, your child is hitting because you let him get away with it. You need to punish him harder. But that's not always the case and that's not always what's gonna work with your family. If you can work your child through those moments of frustration and you can start at an earlier age, then it'll be better for everyone in the end. Behavior, just like anything else, takes years of consistent daily work. So let's dive in. So let's look at child development. When babies are born and in the infant stage, they are learning how to bite and grab or pull, they might pull your hair, and they're not doing this in an aggressive way. They're not trying to hurt you. They're just exploring their environment around them. And you are in their environment. Actually, you are the biggest part of their environment. And they're learning that when they do something, they get a reaction. By 12 to 24 months, this is a period where their desires are very clear. They know exactly what they want and their communication ability is very limited. This is not a good combination, but it is a phase that all of our kiddos have to go through. And also remember that they haven't developed empathy yet. Empathy develops around the age of four. So although you do want to address some social emotional topics, um, realize that your expectation level for empathy needs to be a little bit lower. So at this stage, really redirecting the behavior is gonna be the best thing, not reacting to the behavior of hitting and throwing, but taking it as a form of communication and then redirecting it. So you could say something like, oh, I see you're very angry. Let's go do this instead. Why don't we play with the puzzles? Another strategy here is to give choices or ask to show me. This way, you're allowing your child's nonverbal and receptive language to help your child's expressive language. Use their strength to help their weakness. By 24 to 36 months, their communication abilities are improving. They understand rules, they're able to follow certain rules, but they have a lot of emotions inside of them. And those emotions are going to beat out any kind of rule following ability that they have. So if they are in moments of extreme frustration or anger or jealousy, then that, that's gonna win over their ability to follow any rules, even though they know those rules. So let's look at it from their perspective. You know exactly what you want and you keep asking for it and the adult is not understanding. So you have to say it again, the adult doesn't understand. You say it again, the adult gets it wrong and you, you know that the adult is going to give up soon. So that is gonna increase all, all of the frustration in you and you, that energy is gonna come out in some sort of way, whether it's gonna be biting, hitting, scratching or kicking. So here are my tips to help in these situations. Now remember, you're never going to eradicate it completely. These behaviors are typical and they're gonna happen. It's very healthy for kids to experience these things. We just have to work them through it. Number one, find the pattern. What's happening before they start to react this way? What's hap what are you doing during? What's happening during? And then what's happening after? Um, start to kind of track and find the patterns of these types of behaviors. Number two, talk about emotions. I know in my previous videos I've said to speak in short simple phrases so that it's easier for your kiddo to follow and understand. When we talk about emotions it's going to be a little bit more complex than what you're used to uh, when speaking with your child but that's okay. They understand so much more than they're able to express and right now we just need to teach them. So start to label emotions, read books that um, that talk about emotions. There's a really cute color monster book where each monster is a different color and it represents a different emotion. And then when your child is feeling extremely frustrated, you could say something like, oh, I see you're very frustrated. Let's take some deep belly breaths. And that's them just drawing their awareness inward, trying to calm their energy state. 
And then after the deep belly breaths, once your child is calm, then you can work him through that sentence that he was trying to say. Now, of course, we're not always gonna have time to hit pause and take big belly breaths. It's just not always possible. And that's okay, that's life. You have to find the teachable moments at some point during the day, and hopefully you can find a couple. And then the times that you can't, you could say, I'm so sorry, we have to go, we are late. We could talk about this later. And of course, it's gonna send them into a fit, but just keep using very calm words um, and reassuring them that that you you understand that they are frustrated and that you're very sorry about that. All right, number three, take a look at how you're responding. Are you really reacting to the negative behavior that your child is, is resorting to? Um, are you trying to give them enough time to finish their sentence? Or are you trying to speak for them? Are you trying to randomly guess and of course all of these strategies as parents we're going to be using yes if we can't understand our kid we are going to randomly guess sometimes so this is not to make you feel guilty or bad about it just just to take a little look turn that lens over on you a little bit and see if you're doing anything um, that might be causing him to escalate or if there's something that you can do maybe to help him de-escalate Number four, remember that empathy doesn't um, doesn't develop in kids until about the age of four. So keep talking and labeling emotions and trying to work your kiddo through it. But remember that all of those behaviors, the negative behaviors, um, it's really a reactive way for them to get that negative energy out. It's also a way to get a reaction out of you. So as best as you can, try to ignore those behaviors as long as they're safe. I mean, they have, you have to keep them safe, obviously, right? But um, try to ignore those negative behaviors as much as possible, redirect them to something else, and then just keep working them through them, through those moments. The best teachable moment is when both you and the child are in a calm state. So whenever you can get to that point, um, you can use that moment to kind of talk about what happened. Oh, I saw you were really upset. And, but you did your big belly breaths and that was great because you were able to calm down and, and help mommy understand what you wanted. Again, it, this is all gonna take time, so please be patient with yourself, be patient with the adults around you, um, try to teach them as much as, as you can. The adults, you can send them this video if you want, um, and every child is gonna be different. So you're gonna be negotiating with your child differently than their sibling even. Maybe they're just, every child is just so different. So you're gonna have to find what works for you. But I do know that kids, they are just little balls of energy and we have to remember not to react to how they're feeling. They're trying to sort out all of these types of feelings in this huge world and it's our job to help them through that. So I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Again, send this video to anyone that you think it would help. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.